Hi, I'm Deepti Desikin and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my favorite lipsticks like my top three in every color category. So I have reds, I have deep reds, I have berry, I have some shades so you'll see as we go about this video. So I have included lipsticks that I have used the most, I still reach out for the most and these happen to be in my top three um, favorites but i have other lipsticks as well like i cannot seem to differentiate and be partial to my other lipsticks but if given a chance and i had to pick just top three these were the lipsticks that i was reaching out for the most in each color category so this is uh, like a sequel to my other video that i did that is my top three makeup in every category so in that video i did mention that i will be doing a separate video for lipsticks and here i am it's going to be interesting i got this idea from one of my subscribers and kudos to you guys for always coming up with some amazing amazing ideas for me so let's get started so the first one we are going to be talking about my favorite red lipsticks i don't think i have three in this so i know it's quite surprising that i don't really have three reds but i haven't been reaching out for that many reds with that being said, the first lipstick I have is the MAC Retro Matte Lipstick in the shade Ruby Woo. I don't think this is a surprise to anyone. I still use it to date. I have finished this one up all the way here. I feel like this is my pick-me-up lipstick. Every single time I feel like I don't know what to wear with a certain outfit. I just don't know what goes with anything or I just feel like I look dull. I just want a pick-me-up shade just to brighten my mood as well. Yeah, I feel like lipsticks do that. Lipsticks are a good mood lifter for me. And every single time I want to reach out for something like that, I go ahead with my MAC lipstick in the shade Ruby Woo. It's not something that is unique anymore. You can dupe it and there are so many dupe videos available. I have done that as well. I will it right here you can find dupes to this shade but it's just my favorite shade and then i have the faces Ultime pro matte lip crayon in the shade midnight rose what a beautiful red shade this one is it is a little bit like slightly deeper on my lips and i feel like it's so pigmented so beautiful on the lips it's very long wearing and i really love this shade it's not very drying as well and i do use reach out for this every now and then of course with the number of lipsticks i have i will be switching between everything and my usage will be less but if i have favorites these are the ones for sure so next moving on to deeper red shade i have the shade mac sin this one is a matte formula this is described as a deep red with a little bit of blue undertones to it i feel like it has a little bit more berry undertones it's a very nice vampy shade to wear and i love this especially with indian outfits i've worn this so many times with a lot of um gold indian outfits it's beautiful it's a beautiful combination you can keep your eye makeup pretty simple and just pair this one and it would go on so well so this is something i really like a very dupable formula i have made a dupes video about this shade as well it's just that i love the pigmentation of that and the color payoff and the way it looks and it's just that uh some shades just turn out to be your favorites you don't really have to justify it i feel like and then uh l'oreal pure garnet i have used this so much a berry toned red shade so beautiful looks really nice on every single skin tone i've seen this on i really like how it looks and it just instantly brightens the outfit and every single time i've sat down to film and i needed a shade like that i reached out for that one so mostly now that we are at homes these are my favorites like whatever i used to film whatever i wear underneath mask those have happened to be my favorite shades and then i have the mask lipstick in the shade girls night this is one shade you can wear underneath mask because it doesn't move around that much it's a very matte formula it can be slightly drying but i find it to be quite comfortable like certain days when your lips are a little bit dry maybe this will go on a little bit dry but otherwise it's a really nice shade and i love this so much love the formula as well and then let's move on to some pink shades my kiko milano lipstick this one is in the shade number 07 i have used this so much and this is a very very long wearing liquid lipstick the reason i don't mention it as much in my videos anymore because uh, you can't even find this online except for in the kiko milano store kuku i was gonna say that kuku kiko something so kiko milano store so except for that you can't find this anywhere else and uh, i don't find the point of mentioning mo these in most of my videos because if you can't get your hands on it easily then i don't want to mention it but something that i use 
quite a lot especially underneath mask it's a very very comfortable formula long wearing pigmented beautiful pink shade it's not like your straight up pink shade you know it has a little bit of like berry hints to it looks very nice i don't like straight up pink shades like very neutral pink i don't like that i like a little bit of a deeper pink shade that's what i feel like suits me really well i am not a very big pink lipstick person but i have quite a few favorites but don't be disappointed just yet and then the other one is the Too Faced liquid lipstick in the shade bend and snap how many times have you guys heard me talk about this this is a true favorite i love the formula of the Too Faced liquid lipsticks they can be slightly drying like some shades are a little bit more drying than the others but this one is not as drying on my lips very very long wearing worn it so many times these are something you can wear underneath mask and you will not regret it it wouldn't flake it wouldn't be all over your lips they do fade away a little bit maybe towards the center part of your lips but it's a lot more manageable than most of the liquid lipsticks i have seen and love this shade again has a slight blue hint to it and um, for all of these lip swatches i will try to include shades how they look on me from my previous videos because i don't think right now i can sit and swatch all of this because we are in the process of renovating my studio so i'm shifting everything and i don't really have uh, a place to sit down and film so i'm pre-filming as many videos as i can so that i can put it up while all of this renovation is going on so please excuse me while i'm inserting some lip swatches from my previous videos and then of course my favorite pink lipstick this one is the color bar lipstick in the shade sultry how many of you guys have bought this on my recommendation and have loved it let me know in the comment section down below because i have used this one so much a beautiful pink shade again and something that would uh, suit every single person every single complexion and uh, irrespective of you like pink shades or not you would like this these are the kind of pink shades i like i don't really like those you know purple lilac kind of pink shades and then let's move on to some berry shades of course the sugar matte attack transfer proof lipstick in the shade grand berries what an amazing amazing shade i've seen this swatch on so many different skin tones and i loved it every single time i saw it on someone i was like wow 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 what a beautiful shade and i should definitely get this and that's the reason i went ahead and got this one i have no regrets absolutely getting this but also quite drying so if you don't really like drying lipsticks stay away from that but i have something that is a little bit more uh, sheeny looking moisturizing on the skin this one is the maybelline uh, loaded bowl lipstick in the shade berry bossy i have some og favorites right here and uh, i am someone who if i like something irrespective of it is still uh, raved about or not i still continue using it because i paid for it i love it and i still will continue using it and yeah love this shade what a beautiful shade it will instantly brighten up like your entire look and even if you have like a light yellow outfit like something like that Mm, the combination of this is beautiful and then something else which i wanted to include is the sugar lip crayon in the shade baby houseman i love this this one doesn't move around as much as the maybelline one like it will smudge it will like create a ruckus but not as much as the maybelline one it's a really pigmented formula and quite comfortable on the lips and then something else which i didn't know which category of shade this would fall under this is the nika lipstick in the shade cleopatra it's like a pink with a berry hint to it it's a very nice shade so love the formula of the nika ultra matte something that i feel like so much better than so many of their lip products this nika ultra matte they nailed it with the formula they nailed it with the shades some amazing shades in this particular range which i really like and by the way if you guys are wondering what is this on my lips i really don't know you guys i miss, mixed about four lipsticks and right now it's in a, sh a shade i can't describe so next up let's move on to some nude lipsticks now my definition of nude is very different compared to a lot of other people and a lot of people get really upset when i call certain shades to be nude shades but that's how i like to wear lipsticks like when i'm wearing it without makeup i can't wear those pale nude shades they look really bad you guys it makes you look very dull and like you are sick so i like to wear something a little bit more with pigment and certain undertones so what do you categorize those shades as if it is very muted and but has a different undertone i call them nude so let's move on to the nude shades in my dictionary okay so first up we have the swiss beauty non-transfer lipstick this one is in the shade mauve taupe so 
beautiful beautiful nude shade i have worn this so many times without makeup and this is how it looks like it's sort of like a deep mauve uh, when you swatch it on your hand but on the lips it's very very muted and very beautiful and then um I have the shade Rusty Nude, which is quite similar to Morph Taupe. So if you have one, you don't have to get the other one. Just that Rusty Nude has more brown to it and Morph Taupe has more mauve undertones to it. But you can't really make out that much. They look quite similar on the lips as well. So don't have to go out and get both. So this is Rusty Nude and this is Morph Taupe. Look at my hand, what a mess. Love the formula of this very pigmented, very comfortable, quite long wearing, can wear this underneath mask I have most of the times. So then talking about another nude shade in the liquid lipstick form, this one is the Chambord liquid lipstick in the shade 482 Coffee Date. I love this shade. It looks so beautiful. It has a little bit of brown hints to it as well and looks really nice. I like this one over 483 because I feel like 483 is a little bit too bright sometimes and this one is very subtle, very muted and I love that. And then I have the Swiss Beauty uh, non-transfer lipstick in the shade bronze which is what it looks like so it's again it has a little bit of like a mauve-ish brown hint to it like a deep mauve with a little bit of um, brown hints to it as well and again a beautiful shade for so many different skin tones so if you want like certain recommendations from me for lipsticks that can look nice stand out but yet not too bright this is one of those shades i would recommend and then let's move on to brown shades i have the chambord liquid lipstick in the shade 484 this is what the shade looks like it's a brown shade with a little bit of mauve hints to it as well so if you are of a deeper skin tone than i am it might be like a very subtle brownish mauve shade on your lips and then another brown shade that i have in my collection is from uh, Swiss Beauty. This one is in the shade Choco Bar. I love this. It's a very nice brown shade. It, has, it is a little bit more warm and has slight red undertones to it but looks beautiful on the lips. I will definitely insert the swatch of it as well so you guys can see it's a really nice brown shade. And then I have the Too Faced uh, Melted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Making Moves. I love this. Such a nice muted brown shade uh, like a warm brown with a little bit of orange hints to it as well and without makeup it can look a little bit like too subtle for my lips but with makeup i love the shade on my lips the next one i have is in the shade tan helen so this one is a little bit of a brown little bit of a mauve undertone burgundy to it so it's a really nice shade very different on the lips and looks beautiful on a lot of different skin tones again keep in mind that the formula of this can be a little bit more drying is especially if you don't really like matte, super matte lipsticks. But I love this shade. The next one I have are uh, something I can't categorize what this exactly falls under because it has like a dusty mauve, dusty burgundy undertone to it. So I've just named this as miscellaneous because I really don't know what else I can classify this as. So the first one I have is the MAC liquid lipstick in the shade topped with brandy this is described as a dirty rose shade on the website so that's the reason i included it in this miscellaneous category because i didn't know what other shade range this would fall under what a beautiful shade i don't really like to wear this without makeup but love this for certain kind of outfits certain kind of cool tone looks it just looks really nice like with certain kind of like purplish bluish lilac outfits it looks really good and then i have the sugar um lipstick in the shade bellatrix again similar to that a dusty rose shade and this is what it looks like now this one is described as a mauve pink with brown undertones on the sugar website and i feel like yeah it is quite similar to that so these are like mauve toned lipsticks that i wanted to include in this section of um the video these are lipsticks that i love i've used so much and i have more lipsticks in this particular category as you guys can see i've already exceeded four shades because these are the shades that i really like they are unique they stand out they look really nice on the lips and particularly for pigmented lips they do look really nice and there's one other shade that i want to include but i can't really find that right here that one is the sugar x wonder woman lipstick in the shade let me see what is it called it's the Sugar X Wonder Woman Everlasting Matte Lipstick and that one is in the shade Justice. It's a brown burgundy and I love that shade but I can't seem to find it anywhere right now. I will try to insert a swatch of it because I'm not sure where that lipstick went and um, I've tried 
and searched everywhere and I'm so sad because that is also one of my favorite shades. Very different, very beautiful. I like these kind of unique shades and they look really nice on the lips. It looks somewhat like this, like the shade I'm wearing right now. That's how it looks on the lips but I had to mix about four shades to get to this one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed my top three, top two top four uh, lipsticks in each category i'm pretty sure i haven't missed out anything and if i have um i'm not sure what to do because yeah i try to remember everything from right off the bat from the top of my head whatever i could remember whatever i've used the most and i picked out everything and laid it down in front of me so i don't think i missed out anything and if i did i will probably type it out and pin it in the comment section down below so let me know your favorite lipstick like your top three must have it doesn't really have to be in each color category but your top three must have lipsticks so make sure to leave your favorites in the comment section down below and while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye. Oof, the time is 9.15 and I'm filming non-stop from 2 o'clock, you guys. Non-stop, without a break. I've just been changing my outfit, uh, filming. So yeah, long day. See you guys in my next one anyways. Mm -hmm. I don't fit till your bar's beauty queens